to empower each other. I want us to support each other. I want us to love each other. I want us to be ourselves. This is a judgment-free zone tonight. For the next hour, I want you to give me feedback. I want you to engage with me, comment. We're going to have three amazing motivational moments. And I want participation. I want engagement. Are you ready to participate? Now, the people that participate the best will be rewarded. Are you ready to be rewarded? All right, we got Aesthetica, Plastic Surgery Institute. We got them in the audience. And you know what they're doing? For the young ladies that participate, crazy. When Mickey called me up the other day, she said, whoever participates the most tonight and engages is going to win, possibly, if you say it's okay, Blanca, a complimentary $200 30-minute hydro facial. Yeah. All right. Now, that's what I'm talking about, people. I'm talking about rewards. But, you know, you're going down to like a six on that incitement. You're going to lose your voice tonight because we are going to party tonight. We are going to have fun. And we're going to do what? The best talk show in America. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So, I guess, are we ready to get going? My director of production, yes. Dennis Duggins, president of Brain Vision Productions, the creator of this event. This man has worked literally 24 hours a day. Literally, I'm not even kidding you. Three for the last three months. By my wife That's right. And Mrs. Duggins, if you're out there, we love you. Thank you for giving us your husband to do this production. We appreciate you. Thank you. Everybody say hello to Mrs. Duggins. All right. Now, we also want to thank Pamela Pilani because Pamela did something amazing. She chose Alzheimer's Association as her charity of choice. or to 
a friend. It really is. And they're so sweet. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Sunny and Stephanie and Dr. Roy literally is a genius. That doctor is a genius. I, I, in my family, I, I couldn't do medical school. I wasn't good at science. But we have a couple doctors in the house tonight. Where are our doctors? All right, let's give a doctor to Missouri. What? Oh, my God. What a CBD table she put on tonight. She was up in my little neck of the woods, and I know a lot of you don't know where Panama City Beach, Florida is, but it's actually right up there on the panhandle on the Gulf Coast. Woo, somebody knows. Yeah. Raise your hand. Show me your agree or disagree card. Show me agree if you know where Panama City Beach, Florida is. Ooh, that's pretty good. More agrees than I thought. Okay. I'm a okay. ghost. So, so... As you probably know, we had a Hurricane Michael happen almost a year ago, a Category 5. So some South Florida law firms came up, Blanca came up to help with that. There were a lot of help is still needed. We're still rebuilding. And we met. And so she came to an event that my husband and I were throwing. Uh, we became friends. We quickly learned that we share a passion for empowering women, for motivating and inspiring women. And I had had it in my heart to put on a women's mastermind kind of thing for about three years now. I set the foundation, and then when we met, uh, it came to life. You gave me the confidence and the spark that I needed. But you know what? You did that for me, too. When you called me up and you said, Blanca, I believe in you. I think we can do this. To have somebody believe in you is probably one of the most important things in the world. In the world. Karen and 
Ansel McKinnon is the founder of SpeakUpAndEmpower.com. You came in all the way from Canada. London, Ontario, Canada. Let's give her a round of applause for that. And you know, I gotta tell you, and where's Pam Capuccio? Right here. Pam Capuccio was very kind because I went to a networking event and she introduced me to Karen. What is one of my number one laws of life? Always introduce a friend to another friend. Just like Rick Darkea introduced me to a stick of my new friends over there. So we gotta keep supporting each other. Tonight, make me a promise. Meet a new friend and introduce them to an old friend. Do you, do you give me your word on that? All right, I'm telling you, my life's changed because you came. You empowered me. Thank you. So Karen, what is Speak Up and Empower? So, Speak Up and Empower started out as a directory for women in business. And it changed incredibly overnight, because sometimes you just have to listen to the universe. So, you can't sell empowerment. Um, you can build skill sets. Oh, this isn't on? Okay, you can. Is that better? Yeah. Sorry. You can. You can sell empowerment. So, you can get women to build their skill sets. You can get them educated. You can build their confidence. But in the end, they have a choice to make, and the choice is to be empowered. And then hopefully, they choose to become enlightened after that. So there is a difference. So we ended up overnight being number one at Google. We got uh, sponsored by Skillshare, Teachable, Grammarly, you name it. Allison, they're all sponsoring us. And uh, we've become way more than that. We have a round table, which is like truly amazing. So what do you view the, the main benefits of the Speak Up and Empower platform? Uh, I, I'm going to give just a quick little short story. So at the event that Blanca went to, I had two women, one from Canada, one from the U.S., and believe it or not, they were sitting beside each other, and they didn't even know each other. And then all of a sudden, one said to the other, are you a member? Or no, do you know Karen Ann from McKinnon? Of course. I'm instant, family. Family. Instant, instant family. Instant family. Instant sisterhood. And it, it's a truly heart centered community. And I find nowadays that's really hard to find. So everybody check out speakupandempower.com. And I'm proud to announce that Karen selected me to be the official talk show host of Speak Up and Empower. What do you guys say about that? I love it. And Karen, I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. You do? Did anybody guess what I'm surprising Karen with? Anybody? No, well, one of your friends from Savannah, Georgia, I drove here for six hours to see you, Dr. Cooper. So let's give her a quick hug and let's give Karen a hand. All right. Ms. Watson, who is there? talking about tonight and I want to hear from you and just to sort of put this out there from the very beginning I'll be saying a few things making some points asking questions and you've all got a card and I want to know if you agree with what I'm saying so hold it up high and if you disagree with what I'm saying please hold that up high I promise you you will not upset me or offend me this is meant to be very interactive 
That's what we want the mastermind to be. This is a conversation, not a presentation, okay? So, so we want to get started by talking about, you agree, <laughs> adversity and navigating through adversity while staying on fire. Okay, everybody wants to stay on fire, don't we? But adversity happens. I mean, it's just, it happens in life. You're going along, everything is fine, and then something comes up, and it throws you off your course. So it's important to stay strong and to stay positive. But first I want to ask you, has anyone ever gone through adversity? So let's raise. We, is that a silly question? So actually, the I don't great see, majority. I don't, I don't have. see. I don't see any disagrees with this. Were there any disagrees? Has anyone not experienced adversity? Oh, unanimous. Does anybody believe that it's important to stay strong and positive through it? Okay, so we're going to have to come up with some strategies to do this. It's always good to have strategies. Uh, you know. I think, personally, that you really have to stay connected to your passions. Um, stay connected to the people that you love, to your pursuits and your projects. And I want to hear from you. What are, what's one thing that somebody would like to share that you do to stay strong? To, Dr. To Chris, keep, keep in your, the house. Keep your cup full. Thank you, Glenda. Find your courage. Develop your courage. Develop your courage. Beautiful. Agreed. Anybody Dr. Else? Lazari. Affirmation, rewiring that brain and not allowing all those bad habits to happen and taking control of it. Love it. Love that. Stacy. Clarity. Get clarity on what you want to make Get decisive decisions. Clarity on what you want to make decisive decisions. Great. Create your future on a daily basis so you're prepared when it comes. Create your future on a daily basis so that you're prepared when it comes. Who has that? Awesome. Set an intention for the day that you're going to do. Set an intention, but do it after you are appreciative of what's good in your life. So gratitude every morning. Gratitude. Set an intention. Michelle. Um, yeah, I would say to get in touch with your intuition, your sense of who you really are, because that will never lead you astray. You'll always be on target. By getting in touch with your intuition. Get in touch with whoever you really are. Noah. Believe in you. Absolutely. Love it. Believe in you. With Dr. Rian. Start looking at any failure as feedback. And start your day with that attitude. Lori shaking her head. What do you think, Lori? Oh, yeah? I love, well, that, let me, you know, where's Scott Major? Is he in the room? <laughs> Look for the silver lining. Look for the silver lining. Barbara. Love it. Michelle. For me, it's prayer, meditation, and just setting the intention. But for me, it's prayer. Okay. One more for Michelle. Or Mich no. <laughs> uh, Doreen. Okay, so my thing is to think about failing forward. That every fail in life means that you're stronger and you're failing forward. And the other thing is that this too will pass. Love that. This too will pass. Yeah. I love that. That is Doreen Yago, one of our supporting sponsors and, and an incredible yeah. family and matrimonial attorney, by the Thank way. You. I, I love that, Doreen. That's cool. One more over there. I love Laughter. that. Laughter. Pamela Laughter. taught me that. Pamela's got a great sense of humor. All right, we got to wrap. We've got one on the front row. One here. more on the front row. Hallie Presby, Banty. Be good to others, and it comes back. There you Fingers go. crossed. Go. From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to wrap this motivational moment. Okay, I wanted to add one more thing. Sure. Just that sometimes it's okay to be vulnerable, and this is important to me, that we are taught to be strong, courageous women. And when your heart is hurting, you're going through adversity on some level, it's okay to share that and be vulnerable. Because what happens is when you're vulnerable with other people, it enables them to be vulnerable too and to show their, their true self. 
Correct. So it's it's great communication. And I would say my number one law of life is is to own your adversity. Own it. Talk about it. Communicate about it because it's a part of you when it creates the fabric of your soul, and you're going to feel much better. So just be open about who you are. So I think we're going to wrap that motivational moment, and we're going to call up our next guest, silver sponsor, Pamela Higer Pilati. Come on, we'll join the Life Women's Masterminds. She knew I got paid that day. <laughs> and, I, and you were so nice to me. And Pamela said, sure, on one slight adjustment I would like to make. I would like Alzheimer's Association to be my charity of choice. And I said, as you do? Faith. It's the one word that wasn't used. I have very strong faith. Faith in myself, faith in my family, faith in the God above, whatever that means to you. Um, and I always say keep your Ten Commandments and just have your faith. Faith will keep you through. God brought you to it. God will bring you through. And we have a PhD in theology, Dr. Fuller from Georgia. You agree with that, Dr. Fuller? That's right. Okay. Very nice. We see a lot of degrees on that. And, and, and tell me more, but break it down for me. Let's say you're having a really bad day. You get a piece of bad news. We all get bad news. What's your advice on how to cope with it? You know, you're asking me. You know I have a little bit of a salacious sense of humor. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to say, you know, you need to do whatever it takes to you in that moment to get through it. But forgiveness, forgiveness of yourself is so important. Whatever it took for you to get through it, whether it was eating chocolate, <laughs> um, calling your best friend, or whatever it is, it gets you through it. The biggest thing is, is forgiving. I think as women, we tend to blame. We blame everyone around us. We don't forgive them because we have to remember how to forgive ourselves. But we don't have to be size two. We don't have to have a million dollars on our bank. Our children don't have to always have clean faces. Um, you know, and yet we're still incredible in our own rights. And that's really the forgiveness of yourself. I love it. What do we say about that law of life? I think it's incredible. So what do you think, like what do you think in your life history gave you the confidence to have these life skills? What's the source? So there's several women in this room who know me really well, and they'll tell you my husband has always loved on me tremendously. And Aww. I think whoever that person is who's given you um, unconditional abundance of love, that person is the one who actually makes you shine. For me, it was my husband. He was the first person really 
um, outside my immediate family who just loves on me and still loves me on me. Every day, he never stops telling me I'm beautiful, even when I'm not so pretty. <laughs> and um, it just always makes sure, reminds me that I am worthy. You know, that's you have to have a team of people around you. Can do that. I totally agree with that. When I was, I want to give a shout out to, you know, you just reminded me. Because when I was a kid, my parents constantly told me that I was a genius and that I was amazing. Constant positive feedback. But when I went to school, they told me I was ugly. They told me I was stupid. They told me I was different. They excluded me. They bullied me. Dr. Fuller, you too? So love is very important to the building of confidence. 100%. And, it, and you cannot really love yourself until you actually absorb it. So you have to be able to absorb it. Sort of and like skincare. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> I'm already in a skincare. I'm sorry. But, um, you know, but you're right. It is like skincare because it has to be repetitive. It has to be continuous. It has to be perpetual. And, and the truth is, is that really makes you shine. I always say I'm much more beautiful today than the day I even met my husband because of the love he has poured on me. That's beautiful. After getting engaged to David Schaffman, I have evolved as a person, and I've grown. And you know, the person not only gives you love and confidence, but they also give you an example of how to live. So, what's the number one law of life your husband taught you since you speak so highly of him? And you know this. <laughs> so um, he has a wonderful aphorism, which is, "Don't borrow pain from the future." And if you think about that, it's really something that women tend to do. We're always in our heads thinking, if I had done this, or if I should do that, and what we could do, and you got to just live in the moment. Can I say real quick about the time? We have so, one minute left. Ladies, when you tell your spouse or your other significant other, if you have one, you know, I'm going to bed. And he says to you in return, I'm going to bed too. He's in bed in 10 minutes. How many of you are still getting the, the lunches ready, getting your last emails done, making sure your clothes are picked up for the next day, looking at your calendar, making sure that you have all the supplies in your car, whatever it might be. It takes me about a good hour after I said, I'm going to bed. Right? And, and we have to live in the moment. That's the point. Live in the moment. Stop thinking about what tomorrow is going to be. That doesn't mean you don't prepare. It just means you stop dwelling. Be in the moment. Enjoy. Couldn't agree more. You know what, guys? Let's live. We don't have to be perfect all the time. Let's just enjoy. Pamela Iger Pilani, you're amazing. You are too. Thank you so much. Andrew's going to help you off the stage. Wait, wait. I got you. All right, let's bring back up Martha Rose Thorpe. Take us into our next motivational moments. Okay. What do you guys think of Pamela Iger Pilani's silver sponsor? She's an awesome lady. We want to talk now about staying sane while trying to have it all. Has anybody here ever tried to have it all? Do it all, be it all? Come on. Yes. Doreen. <laughs> okay. And you know what? You can do that for just a little while. You can keep all those balls in the air, but then it leads to massive burning off. <laughs> so, so, again, we're looking for some strategies to stay strong and stay positive. Uh, for me, it's surrounding myself with positive people. You know, when you're, that, that, your tribe, your we talk about a lot about collaboration, and you know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go as a team. And it's the word's so true. Yes, agree, agree. Thank you. So let me hear from you. Um, what do you guys do to just keep it all together when you got all the balls in the air? Doctor Chris. Balance. Balance. Take a time out and get some balance. I go to the beach. <laughs> Love the beach. Go to the beach. Dr. Lazari. I take my DVD shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to know, Dr. Lazari's office clinic is in Plaza Real South, my new favorite street in Boca Raton. Beautiful clinic. Get everything you need there. Feel beautiful. Any other suggestions? Delegate. Good point, Maria Velez. I like that. Anyone else? A routine? Does anybody think that a routine is important? You know, does it keep you balanced and centered, or does it just add more angst? Georgie? What do you, what do you guys think about that? You have a comment? Uh, I think a routine is very important. 
Routine is extremely important. Well, exercising. Yeah. Hallie? That's what I do. I get up every day at 5 o'clock. I get my workout done. I give my chance. I give myself a chance to sleep. Um, I give myself a chance to release everything before my day starts. So that by the time I shower and I've gone to work, I feel relaxed. Yes. So I get rid of all of that before I start my day. Super good. If I need to do stuff, I'll make a list. If I have, you know, somebody that I spoke with that i got to take care of something, I'll write it down. Because no matter how important they are, there's always a chance that I can forget. So yes. write it down. Write it down. It helps you. Or send yourself a digital note. Hello, Nan. How are you? What's your feedback? So I love to meditate. My things are just a little hectic. I meditate. Like meditate. Do chakra feelings. Just get myself centered. Meditation. Who in here meditates? Just curious. Oh, look you know, I have to learn right. meditation. Sunny hosts a meditation class as well, right, Sunny? Somebody in the back. Yes. Patrice, speak it out. Exercise. Exercise. Love it. Yes. Yes. Noah, focus on what's working. That's not what's not working. It means gratitude. Gratitude and focus on what's working. Rian. Um, goal setting. Before you get out of bed, three things you're going to get done for that day. You start to get three things for that day. I like that one. Set three setting. goals and stick to them. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Sunny? Sound vibrational. I'm not familiar with that. What is that? Yeah. Well, I have a giant ball, and all the things that vibrate your every cell in your body to a higher vibration. All right. We're going to have to go to one of your classes on that. Yeah. Dr. Chris. <laughs> sure is good. All right. Yeah, sure is good. Anyone else? Perla Mazzo. We, it's devotional message. Repeat that? Read a devotional message. Jordan Ray. Love it. Take it day by day. One thing I love to do is after my workout, my nice strong French roast coffee, take a quick shower, get on the phone with Blanca. <laughs> we have a brainstorming session. It's early. We're done by 8.30. And it really centers me for my entire day. So sometimes just having that person that you connect with early in the morning. Couldn't agree more. Brainstorming sessions at least twice a week. When I have a call after with Marta, I'm alive. I can't stop moving. We have about 50 epiphanies during that call. It's crazy. That's right. Who wants to have a brainstorming call with me next week? Yeah. All right. It's fun. You might lose weight from it. So how are we doing so, on our... Can yes. I ask you, what is your law of life regarding... Trying to have it all. Same thing. Well, I think my I think I've come to the conclusion that we don't need to have it all. We just need to find our purpose of what fulfills us. And I'm gonna tell you what I found that doing events like this and creating and all of us being together gives me the greatest joy in the world. And I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you for supporting me and coming tonight and being a part of us. So if you find that purpose, then you'll always be happy because I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and I email Mickey Kelly and she she's she's amazing. She always responds to my emails at 5 a.m. So work with people that you love. Just like you, Marta. Love you, girl. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So who's our next guest? Our next guest is Karen Zafra Vera. Next level. do you do? Awesome to be here, and thank you for everybody that's here, but um, what I do is I help people, I help everyone that wants to get to that next level. 
if the journey, whatever journey that is for them, it's that purpose, that that feeling, that desire that they have within them that they want to discover about themselves. What what was it that made you decide to become a life coach? Um, I think it was my journey. It was really my journey, and I feel tremendous satisfaction when I see someone going through their own journey and having wins and reaching where they want to go to. And it just opened up a, a, an emotions, and I, I found like that was purpose. I was looking for something in that, and that was it. So if I became a client and decided to retain a life coach, how long would the process take for me to, to go through the training? Well, it really depends, and it can be customized, but it could be anywhere from six months to a year. Um, you know, it could be through masterminding. It could be just individually, private coaching. What's the number one type of issue that people come to see you about? What are you seeing out there in the world? life transitions, going from like a nine-to-five job or going from a, a particular business, a particular career that they have, and they're trying to find that, that, that calling. You know, there's so many of us out there that have want to do something else, and they, are, they don't feel empowered enough. And so you, a mentor, what I do is believe in you until you're ready to believe in yourself. I love that. So you're really uh, a cheering section. We love that. Woo! All right. You know, that, that's very important. I mean, what we're doing tonight by listening to each and every guest, by engaging and listening to each other in the commentary and the motivational moment is we're listening to each other. Our words matter. And we have to just keep supporting each other. Non-stop. And anybody that's watching the live stream, thank you for watching and know that you are not alone and that we are all there for each other. And we don't always need to be in a great mood. But are you in a good mood tonight? <laughs> so let me ask you this. We all get in our moods. We're human beings. We have adversity. We have transitions. We have all different types of challenges, divorce, financial challenges. It's going to happen to all of us. No one is immune. Everybody has sort of great on adversity but the question is what is your advice on how to best address it you know for me and I've heard it all around gratitude is such empowerment when you the gratitude the process of gratitude makes you get into a higher vibration a higher frequency it makes you forget the issue you have at hand and so gratitude for me, when I um, I can't focus, I just pick up a journal and just write about what you're grateful for because there's plenty to be grateful for. And, that, and throughout the day, you become more aware of what you can be grateful for. I, I couldn't agree more. I'm grateful for all of you being here tonight. I'm on heaven. All right. So that's important. Gratitude. Just honestly, just remembering what you have. It's a good thing to teach the kids too. What else? There's, what are the other parts of the formula? Well, gratitude and then personal development. Personal development is so important in everybody's life mm -hmm. because it is about discovering yourself. It's about finding your purpose. It's, you know, it's levels of awareness that you don't, you don't get everywhere. And so by discovering more of yourself, you get closer to your purpose. You get closer to where you want to be and how you want to feel. And you said, you know, can we have it all? And most people would say, well, no, you can't have it all. But if you're living your purpose and you are happy, you're having it all. Exactly. You craft your definition of having it all. So all doesn't necessarily equate to all. It's just what you want, not what everybody else wants. Right. Exactly. And you discover what you want. There's, there's times that you think you want something and it turns out that it's not that. And what's the last and final element of dealing with adversity? Um, it was happiness. You have to maintain happiness. You have to maintain gratitude and happiness. It's something that it's a vibration. It's a frequency that you pour out there. And that vibration is what's coming back to you. So if you align yourself and you have happiness in your life, it you you're able to move 
move forward through the adversity. You're able to see that, yes, there is a tomorrow, and this doesn't matter. Tomorrow doesn't matter. So it's happiness. That's incredible. Amazing. What was that? Lives. You're, you're sort of a guy, you know, that's what the laws of life is all about, to extract wisdom from our guests to help us on our own journey. So you're hearing about hundreds of other people's journeys and your own. What's your number one law of life? Well, besides gratitude, which is really my main thing, and obviously praying, prayer is part of gratitude because my gratitude is to my higher power, to my to God. Um Really identifying that when I am not in a good set state of mind, uh -huh. that I can write it out, throw it out, release it, and recreate, use my imagination and recreate what I want. And what opportunities do you give our Laws of Life audience tonight, perchance? Well, for this special event, I am setting up a mastermind, and I'm looking for 19 women that we can mastermind and go through a process. So I'd love to connect with everyone that's interested in. Wonderful. So if you're interested, see Karen. Karen, I learned a lot today from today's interview. Thank you. What do we say for Karen Zapravera? Thank you so much. All right. Marta Rose Thorpe. What's Marta's last name? Do you remember? All right. I'm going to quiz you. Who's our gold sponsor tonight? Who's our silver sponsor that does wills and trusts? Yeah. All right, now I'm, I'm going to trip you up. Who read the program? Raise your hand. Me. Who's the sponsor of those beautiful laws of life tote bags, the gift bags tonight? Who knows who's the sponsor of those? Major. 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 Thank you, Scott Major with Major Perouis, who came here tonight. Let's give Scott Major a round of applause. Scott? He's, a, he's a genius. All right, next. Marta, lead us in the next motivational moment. Okay, we've got one last motivational moment we want to talk about, and that's called jumping ship on your next chapter. What does this even mean, right? It's kind of crazy. Um, people think of life in different terminology. There's phases and stages of life. Some people refer to it as seasons of their life. I like to think of life in terms of chapters. To me, life is one big novel filled with many chapters. And we're all actually in a chapter right now, currently. So the question is, are you happy with your current chapter? Can we see your signs? Agree, disagree? Agree, disagree. Because oh. there's, who here believes that there's, you've got at least one or two more chapters ahead, if not more? God willing. Okay. Got a hundred ahead. So they're happy with their current chapter, but they feel that more are ahead. Okay. Who, who's looking forward to the next chapter more than the current chapter? Who's ecstatically happy in their current chapter? Wow, this is a happy crowd, Blanca. All right. A round of applause for yourself. <laughs> um, I usually talk to a lot of groups that I get a lot of disagrees because they're basically they've got a great job or a long running successful career making good money, they've got skill sets, talents, but this little voice in the back of your head might be saying, is this it? Is this all there is? Am I fulfilled? You know, Tony Robbins said it best, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. And so are you really fulfilled right now? And I want to hear from somebody who, who thinks that maybe it's time to transition into another chapter, but maybe they're kind of stuck and don't know quite how yet. Anybody? No Barbara, time. Barbara, let's give Barbara a hand for being one of our supporting sponsors tonight. She owns the beautiful Viva Chic Boutique in Delray. So tell us, what's on your mind, Barbara? Do you know what your next chapter is and you're just stuck in getting there? You just know there's something coming up. Yeah. You're not, you are not. haven't pinpointed it yet. My advice is to, to literally meet as many of the women in this room as you possibly can. Find out what drives them. This is why networking is so important. It's not just about getting business. 
that's a part of it. It's about exploring the universe and picking up the signals of the universe as to what speaks to you, what resonates in your soul. So the more you speak to people, the easier it will be for you to find that purpose. You agree, Stacey Kessler? All right. And we talked about, okay, so what's your future transition? Has anybody had a major transition in the last, say, two years? Brenda. A lot of agrees. Brenda. Okay, so you came from a chapter. Tell us about that. something very special in your swag bag. You're gonna you can go to Westgate Resort in Orlando for four days for a hundred dollars because of Brenda Swope Northwestern Mutual. What do we say for Brenda? Thank you Brenda. Thanks for sharing your story. Any other transitions? Oh Dahlia Dahlia Thank you, Everlasting Tea Time. Time. And they're going to give you a raffle. Beautiful. Yes. Absolutely. Very nice. Very, thank you for sharing that. Maria. <laughs> Maria Carey. Baskets are us is giving us that incredible gift basket as a raffle prize. Do you have your raffle ticket? <laughs> Maria, you are out there networking for your baskets are us, and we're going to support Maria. When you need help, the holidays are coming up. Oh, inside and out. You know, one thing, Monica, I think is important is mm -hmm. that, you know, we're taught to think big. Mm -hmm. You know, the sky's the limit. Go after that big, huge, audacious goal. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes it's okay to give ourselves permission to think small. I mean, take one small dream or idea or quest and just sort of slowly work toward that every single day. And that's really, to me, how you transition easily. Because it's daunting otherwise. And it is hard. Without a doubt. What is your number one love life regarding jumping ship on this chapter and sailing into your next? It, it, once you choose the new chapter, stick with it. Focus on it. Be relentless and don't quit. Don't let anybody stand in your way. And God willing, one person will say yes, like Pamela Heiger Pilati, and it will give you confidence to keep going for yeses. But you know what? You're going to get a thousand no's too, but you keep going. You can never stop fighting, ever. Amen. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we are going to introduce to you our next guest, Lori Goldstein. Our guest. <laughs> Where we say, Lori go 
thank you for your generosity and for you. Listen, I just want to thank before we start talking to the amazing Lori Goldstein, how thankful I am for all of the sponsors. Where are my supporting sponsors? Stand up, please. Katia, Biba, John Weldon, La Mexicana Restaurant, Major Peruis, Virginia Chris, all of the supporting sponsors. Can you please stand for a moment? Dr. Studio, Everlasting Tea, Any, I just want to say thank you. Doreen, Doreen Yaffa, our incredible family and matrimonial attorney. Anyone else? A Great American Cookie, Karen Roberts, our financial planner. And of course, we have our gold and silver. So, Doreen, let me ask you a question. How many years have you been practicing law? I'm the person here in school. No. <laughs> The smartest, maybe. I have been practicing about 30 years. 30 years. So what? And yeah. I actually have to say something. My husband's in the back, and he just reminded me, we were married in this place 25 years ago. In this room? Wow! <laughs> it used to be a Halloween one. Yeah. And <laughs> many <years> Elliot. <laughs> Let's say hi to Elliot Goldstein. So I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, and my dad never had a boy. So I kept my maiden name Goldstein. Um, my marriage name was sure. So um, there was no boys in the family, so I kept Goldstein. So I apologize for calling you. Um, your, no, I I, I, I I use Goldstein. But my number one, <laughs> my number one boom, I would think, is patience and tolerance. Patience. Um, very importantly. Juan and I have a lot of similarities. Um, we have a lot of things that have happened to us in the legal system, a lot of distrust in predominantly a male-dominated field, um, especially with me being in a male-dominated field, the person living in the realm, doing it for many, many years. There's a lot of people that are very jealous and don't want to see you succeed, and especially when you're nice, with the kindness. And my mother always had a saying, Marilyn Goldstein, I should rest in peace. I lost my parents many years, but the answer. Cream always rises to the top. So when you keep your dignity and you keep your honor, you survive. And we survived a lot of adversity in our profession. Help me. He's my best friend, and no marriage is perfect. My God, you've got non stop. You know, we're very different men and women, but he is my best friend, he's my partner, and I'm blessed with two amazing children. I have a son in medical school, and I have a, a, a daughter um, in high school, and um, I thank God every day that um, I surround myself with people who support me, lift me up. And um, as you know, it was very hard for me to come here today because my office manager of 20 years is right now in hospice. So it's very hard for me to go out for me to get here today. I haven't slept in 24 hours and I have a lot of makeup on, a lot of problems. So. Our prayers go out to, to your office manager. What's her name? Nancy. So her family made me Nancy. Up here today. Well, so, you said Nancy would have wanted you to do this right. and, and to share your wisdom with everyone. So um, we, we send our prayers to Nancy and her family. And, um, and you know, you are, you're a deeply caring person, Lori. And Lori, like I told you, is my Jewish mother. Okay? And, and she's always looking out for me. She's always giving me advice. 
sometimes unsolicited, but I don't mind. <laughs> Why? I can do truthful. I, I, here's my law of life on this. Give me your advice. I don't mind. Because you know what? If you care enough to give me advice, it's okay. I don't have to agree with it every, every second. But you know what? My favorite expression is, I accept your feedback. Accept it. Yes. Accept it. You don't have to reject it. You don't have to defend it. Just listen to it. And even if you take three and a half percent of it, and it can help you, why not? Why not? Absolutely. So thank you for giving me all that amazing advice. Thank you. Uh, if, if you say that, then I know it must be true. All right. So tell, tell us more. So um, what about in relationships? I mean, we've heard a lot about amazing husbands. We have one minute left. What, what do you think love is the most important thing in the world to happiness? What's the secret? Wow, that's a good question. I think love is a combination of things. I think... There is spiritual love, there is emotional love, there's physical love. And you go through periods of time in your life where, you know, how I felt in my 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. It's very different, you know. And I think that embracing yourself and being with women, and I've always believed in supporting women and boosting women up. Amazing. And that's an important thing, you know. So that's what we're all going to keep doing, right? Yeah. I want to say that each, I, I can literally talk to you for hours, and, and we do. We talk a lot. We, we, I, I so enjoy extracting your laws of life from your life experience. I want to thank you for being our gold sponsor and for sharing your wisdom with all of us. Creative collaboration, okay. which we did really not touch on. All right, and you know we were created to live in community, and you know people have different terms for this: your tribe, your sister squad. But isn't it important to surround yourself with strong, caring women? I mean, Where are those important? Do you know what an aesthetic hydrofacial? I better see more energy. Enthusiastic participant tonight. Let's give Mickey a hand. Tell us, Mickey, who do you nominate? All right, show us your energy, and Mickey's going to choose one of you. Pick one quick. Pick one quick, Mickey. Hey, what's that song, DJ, about Mickey? Mickey. <laughs> Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You can go my Hey, did you choose? All right, Talia. All right. I think if there's one thing, I think what's the number one law of life you've gotten out of tonight, Pearl Amazo? What's the number one law of life you've gotten out of tonight? Oh my God! All the positivity in this group, the connection, the love, the energy—that's amazing. Thank you. You know, we Pamela Hyder Polani. What have you learned? <laughs> so I went to Australia and New Zealand in December and January, and Lori was on my cruise. What? Wait, wait. And I, I made a point of not wearing makeup on my hair on the cruise. And, and I'm wearing like university photographs. And we met each other on the cruise. And I was sitting there listening to her. I go, I think I met her on the cruise. Oh my! I mean, did this and is incredible. In Australia. You met in Australia. <laughs> Disney, that we're all here tonight. Marta, we gotta wrap up the show, girl. It's time. Do you have some people to thank? I have some people to thank. I, first, I want to thank Marta Rose Ford for coming in from Panama City. Thank you. And for working tirelessly. I want to thank 
Bianca. I want to thank Andrew Rivers, our amazing audio. I want to thank our lighting. Say hello. I want to thank Dennis, once again, the president of Brain Vision Productions. That's how it's live from Life Studios. I want to thank U.S. Healthcare Advisors. Is my brother here, John Weldon? I haven't seen him yet tonight. That's my brother. I'll have to take care of him later. Where's Steven Name, La Mexicana Restaurante? You need to go to her restaurant, okay? And when you go to Diva's restaurant, you don't just go to a restaurant. You're treated like family. Have you ever been to a Mexican restaurant where you're really treated like family? Really treated? You go to Diva's in Wilton Manors, the law office of Melba Griffith, Major Peru is for giving us those amazing bags. Rachel Earp. Earth Enterprises. Let's have their team stand up for a minute. And you drove a pretty long way to be here tonight. Where did you come from? Cape Coral. Let's give Rachel Earth and Earth Enterprises. We got Tyler Burke Clothing Store, Julie Logan Photography, Shatterbell South Florida, Baskets Up, Dan Spruill, Neil Yard Remedies. Where's Amy Schlesinger? Is he here? Hepworks, Melody Robinson. And Evergreen Day Spa. I want to thank again our gold sponsor, Lori Goldstein. Thank you. I hope 